Hey, this is Mark with Mountain Venture, and today I'm going to give you my five tips for running in the rain. It is that time of year when you're looking out the window and it is cold, it's wet and raining, and you're looking at your phone and it's telling you that it's going to be that way all week long. Well, the temptation is to maybe just put off that run, not go out there, or worse yet, go to the treadmill. Well, I'm here to tell you, it doesn't have to be all that intimidating to go run in the rain. With these few tips, uh, it's not only gonna be a bit of an adventure for you, it may even be fun. So tip number one is to dress for the temperature, not necessarily for the goal of staying dry because the fact is when you run in the rain, you're just gonna get wet. And so I have various layers of clothes that I use depending on the temperature. So for instance, if the temperature is in the 50s, I'll just wear what I would normally wear when it wasn't raining. Basically a, a tech tee with some uh, arm warmers and my regular running shorts and running shoes and I'll go out and run. In the rain, I'm gonna get wet, but I'm not gonna get really all that cold. When the temperatures begin to dip down more into the 40s, then I'm gonna put on a rain jacket. In this case, it's the Outdoor Research Helium 2 hooded rain jacket, but it's really any lightweight rainproof jacket will work. And this adds just one more layer of warmth as well as begin to keep you more dry in your core to keep you warm. Now, if the temperatures are gonna dip below 40, then I just add another layer underneath that rain jacket so that I won't get too cold out there on the run. Tip number two is to take the hood of your rain jacket and turn it inside out when you're running. So in the warmer temperatures, I'll usually run with the hood off so I don't overheat. But if the wind picks up or the temperatures start to cool down and I feel a little chilled, it's nice to be able to put that hood back on to bring your temperature uh, up a little bit. But if your hood isn't turned inside out, it's gonna be collecting water that entire time you're out there running. And when you put that on, I'm just gonna tell you from experience, that cup of cold water running down your back is not fun. Tip number three is to rotate between one or more pairs of shoes. So you're gonna go out on your run, your feet are gonna get sopping wet. And if you wanna run the very next day, it's no fun to put wet shoes back on. If you've been running for a while like me, you're gonna have a bunch of running shoes laying around. Even the retired ones still have a little bit of life left in them. It's nice to be able to rotate between shoes so you're always gonna be wearing a dry set when you head out for that run in the rain. Tip number four has to do with drying out your wet shoes. Now you don't wanna just take your wet shoes and throw them in the dryer because that heat will cause your shoes to wear out prematurely. It's really hard on them. And so you want them to, to dry more gradually. So one of the tricks that I have done for a long time is that when I take off my wet shoes, I take the insoles out and then I put them either on the top of my water heater or near a vent in my house. This allows them to dry a little bit more gradually and not be so hard on the shoes. And finally, tip number five is to wear reflective clothing. In wet weather, visibility is low. And though I love to run on the trails, when it's raining, I prefer to run on the road. And if I'm gonna run anywhere near traffic, I wanna make sure that they can see me. So I'll put on a bright colored reflective vest to make sure that I'm being as safe as possible when running in the rain. This vest is one that I just bought at Walmart for a couple of dollars. I trimmed it up and also re-sewed a couple of the seams so it would fit tightly against me and it's worked great. Hey, if you've enjoyed watching this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you wanna see more content like it, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I hope to see you somewhere out there on the trail.